Now we're doing it. Free Code Camp, JavaScript Algorithms and Data Structures Beta. Learn basic string and array methods by building a music player. Step 82. All right. So if the playlist is empty, we're going to need to create a reset button element and a text for it. This button will only show up if the playlist is empty. All right. So the create element method is a DOM method that we can use to dynamically create an element using JavaScript. To use create element, pardon me, to use the create element method, we can call it, pardon me, we call it, then pass in the tag name as a string, right? So here's the syntax. It would be like document.createElement, and then we'd have the tag name. And then here's a realistic example, it would be document.createElement, and then div inside of these quotes. Uh, so if it's div, we could also put like h1 or html or uh, what's another one? Link, title, any of these, honestly, probably. I don't know. I just I just heard about this on this one. So uh, we can also assign it to a variable uh, like const div element equals document dot create element div like that. So inside of our if statement, we're going to create, pardon me, declare a reset button constant. Then use create element, use the create element method to create a button. This is literally, this is the first time I heard about this. Well, second time, I mean, it's the second run to through, but still never heard of it before. Uh, so yeah, what we're going to do here is we'll say const, const reset button equals, and then we'll do document dot create element. And then inside of these parentheses, we'll have a uh, button as the element type. And then we'll uh, cap it off with a semicolon thusly. All right. So let's check the code. Looks good. And submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 83. And we'll see you next time.